There we go. Now y'all can hear us. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, Streamlabs. We, we, we love it. We like to reset everything. Right when we start. <laughs> All right, cool. Now we're in business. Yeah, there we go. That's better. All right, so let's try this again. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> back, everyone, to yet another Solar Purge stream. My name is Roderick, also known as Psycho19 on the Discord servers. I am your dungeon master for today. And joining me is Josh, also known as Renderman09 on the Discord server. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Woohoo! Right here. All Mr. Right. Josh. Mr. Josh. Well, uh, what's on screen right now is looking uh, a bit dark, a bit spooky, you know? Uh, so I, I think we got some new stuff to show today, don't you think? I think, yeah, we have some new stuff that actually hasn't been seen by anybody yet. Anybody, yeah. This is fresh hot off the presses uh <laughs> gotta get my english right <laughs> hot off the presses fresh hot off the presses there you go <laughs> oh yeah and uh yeah so welcome to our new hollow chamber based yeah. off of the one and only lockjaw prison yeah and uh as you guys can see we got a bit of a, a different light style going on here we do it's tell, tell us about what's what's going on here this looks a little bit different from the other hollow chambers oh yeah uh it's well, we're here in Lockjaw, and it's very dark in this sector. Um, some of this floor tiling, if you played through the early demo of the campaign, will look familiar to you. But essentially here, we got a new light mode going on for this hollow chamber, something new that we're trying out. And as we play through it, you'll see just how interesting it can get. And I do want to let a lot of the gameplay speak for itself, and I'll talk a little bit about what is happening. Uh, just so you guys know, a lot of this is still work in progress, so this isn't ready for you all to play just yet, but we hope to have it done uh, eventually. As far as when that'll happen, oh, you'll know. <laughs> you will know. <laughs> we will let you know. So I'm going to go ahead and begin simulation, and then we're going to play through. And there's going to be some familiarity if you play Hollow Chamber, but there are also a couple of new things to take note of. So as you can see, we're here on floor one of Lockjaw. And we have some familiar looking enemies. But we also have some new ones as well, such as this guard from the prison. Target he will destroyed. come after you. Yes, he and will. He hurts. And he's got a, an electric stick. An electric arm. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to get hit with electric sticks. <laughs> yeah, I'd definitely be painful. Zap. <laughs> <laughs> Zap the game. So as you can see, we got new lighting modes going on uh, that will debut in this particular hollow chamber with these nice little walls here. You may have seen these enemies before in Caldera. That is because uh, they are managed by the same corporation, so they use those bots in many different places. However, the dynamic is a bit different since it's quite dark here. You might not always know when they're coming, you know? So, like, these guys are coming out of the woodworks, out of the shadows. They're really trying to get me. I know with the lighting scheme, it's actually kind of... It's only revealing... You know, right where you are, so things that are kind of off the side, you see a little health bar, and then, oh, it's too late, they're already on top of me. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah like, these yeah. guys yeah, here, right they, they just crept up on me, that guy down below. <laughs> so if you're really not, if you're not taking care of these ads, they, they will get you. They will get you for sure. Okay, let's dodge out of the way here. So, looks like a lot of the art... Uh, has been kind of pulled over from the uh, the prison level, Lockjaw Prison, that we showed up last week. The campaign. Uh, they've got some other pieces in here that you're using. Where, where are those from? Oh, that's a good question. So, actually, some of these pieces are from an upcoming portion of Lockjaw that we haven't shown off yet. That's right. The cell blocks. These cell blocks. So, remember, yeah, the campaign, so far, you can only play part one. Reloading. Part two will be the next campaign update. Mm -hmm. Reloading. That should finish. Yep, anomaly detected. I know what that means. Yeah. It's boss time. Uh, it is boss time. It's boss time. I think I'm gonna take this. <laughs> <grenade> <laughs> take the grenade launcher. launcher. Oh yeah. The the noob tube is as we used to call back in uh, back in actually that was a long time ago. <laughs> 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 We're showing showing our age here. <laughs> Before I fight the boss, Before I'm actually going to equip my skills since I neglected to do that from the <laughs> get-go. That that might help, you know, just a little bit. You know, normally I go with assault harness, remote charge, and barrage, but I'm actually going to do assault harness, 
Plasma Blast and Barrage. Plasma Blast. Plasma Blast. You know I like the Plasma Blast. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So let's see. I think I'm going to put Assault Harness on C. Then Plasma Blast. I'm going to go ahead and put that on... Let's put that on E. And Barrage. We'll put that on Q. I think that will give me some nice... Yeah, Q the Barrage. Q the Barrage. Q the Barrage. So here is our boss room. Uh, if this room looks familiar, then it probably is. Uh, it is somewhat of a reprisal of the boss room that you would see in Lockjaw Mining. And the boss we see in Lockjaw Mining just so happens to be the Warden. And uh, look who's back for another round. Ah, uh, yeah, he wants to uh, fight you again. Oh, yeah. And it's, it's dark this time, so he has the sight advantage. Reloading. On the edges, you can't see him as clearly, but he can see us very well. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all I see is, yeah, there's just lots of bullets Reloading. flying towards past your head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this room is still a little bit work in progress. We're going to be adding mm -hmm. some more things to it, such as enemy density uh, and other passes. But you're getting a first look just to see what the direction is going. And tell us what you think. Also, we have these turrets down here. They're also being a bit stealthy. Look at them. Just a just a bit stealthy. Just a bit guarding a bit. the ammo crate there. Yeah, you gotta uh, you gotta fight them off if you want the ammo and health. So <laughs> yeah, you have to uh, pay attention to what's going on. Yeah, you gotta in the environment. But Boom! That's floor one, boss. So we're gonna wreck Crushed. him very easily. That's right. You don't deserve your other arm. <laughs> You know, this is almost as if this is like the aftermath of the invasion of the prison. Like, you know, they killed all the lights. Which, you know, with all the explosions that all, are all, happening, all, all the lights have just been removed. Yeah, so we, we essentially to come in here in the dark. You know, some lights still remain, but those main lights they're using to keep the place lit, they're, they're gone. They are completely... They've been completely wiped. Mm-hmm. So let's see. I got some credits here. I got 4,000 just about i think i'm gonna hold on to that just and save now. him up for the that one gun that one that gun. one gun speaking of gun there are some new guns in the works uh Ooh. what those are and how they work can't say for now but uh be on the lookout for that as well i like me some new weapons oh man these guys are beefy They're chunky they are chunky all right let's go ahead and Barrage. Boom, look at all those Boom. explosions. Oh, do you want to tell them about some of the new features to the spawning system? Ah, yes. Yeah. So we really haven't talked about the new spawning system that's happening here. Uh, it's flown a bit under the radar, but I think it's about time we pull the curtains off of that just a little bit. So when creating Hollow Chamber, one of my initial goals was to have a, a dynamic enemy encounter system where players can feel different enemies and different enemy combinations all across the map and when we were first building it our previous spawning system didn't allow for the level of customization that i yearned for for this mode mm -hmm. uh so i went in and i designed a completely new spawning system for the hollow chamber from scratch and now we have a dynamic system as you can see here where enemies can come from basically anywhere Almost every floor tile here in the hollow chamber has the chance of being an enemy spawn location. And using some sophisticated logic and uh, rudimentary, rudimentary math, I was able to get something working that actually fits the hollow chamber theme. And as you can see here, I'm just getting absolutely blank. <laughs> yes, you are. And you know, in previous iterations of hollow chamber, it's been walk into a room, fight some enemies, leave room, go to another room, fight more enemies. And while that's interesting gameplay to an extent, I felt like that could be enhanced. Mm -hmm. And so here we are. We are looking at a much more dynamic enemy spawning system. And this is only just the baseline of it. There's other features for the enemy spawning that are in, but not enabled. Mm -hmm. And we're taking a bit of a step at a time because I don't want to put in too many systems that may or may not work. And we're doing rigorous testing to make sure everything is for fun and not for stress so tell me josh what do you think about the new spawn system have you enjoyed it so i far? i really enjoy it and i was about to say the two of the biggest things that you know make a huge difference are not only 
uh, do enemies will swarm you now because the game is actually tracking your position. See, like right here, you had a whole group come from behind mm -hmm. and in front of you and from the sides. So uh, those create really interesting encounters where you kind of have to prioritize who you're shooting at and uh, what skills you need to be using for the occasion. Mm -hmm. uh, instead of going into a group of enemies, like you were talking about, going into a room, you fight uh, a group of enemies and kind of pull back a little bit and mm -hmm. then push forward into the next room and rinse and repeat. But this feels much more dynamic and you're a little bit more on your toes, mm -hmm. which is awesome. And the variety of enemies that we can spawn in different uh, dungeons, as we call them, dungeon boards, mm -hmm. uh, simulations, excuse me, uh, can change dynamically, and we, that is something that we are going to be looking at here as well mm -hmm. pretty soon. So, you know, some of the uh, enemy encounters had a little bit more of one type of enemy, and there's a certain uh, way that it'll spawn just the the kamikaze bots mm -hmm. <laughs> for a while, and you just kind of get surrounded, and it's it's a lot of fun because that makes it much more dynamic. So it's not the same. Uh, number of enemies spawning each every time with the changes here and there. It's like, hey, we could actually, the entire floor could potentially be, you know. Anything we yeah, wanted. Basically to. anything, yeah. And just Absolutely. to talk a bit more about the spawning system, in our previous spawning system for Hollow Chamber, uh, we actually had to hard code, so to speak, the enemies and which enemies, how many of them spawn in before we even allow for the dungeon to spawn. So that also kind of goes against the nature of the hollow chamber, which is supposed to be this ever-changing simulation. And if the enemy densities and the enemy types and counts didn't change over time, uh, that kind of felt counterintuitive. So we really wanted to make this something that players would have a different experience, even within the same floor, you know? Right. So there's just so much more variety now. Mm -hmm. That is built in. That's taken a while to get it up and running. So I know it's kind of like, what are they, what are they doing when we don't hear from them? <laughs> are they still working on it? Yes, we are. But not everything that we've been working on is something that we can necessarily show yet. Because it's kind of like, not necessarily exciting things in the background. But right. things like this, it's like, okay, you can kind of see the, the, uh, the hard work and the effort that we're kind of putting into those new systems. And uh, what that allows us to do gameplay-wise... Mm -hmm. And, you know, really make Hollow Chamber feel much more of a dynamic experience. Indeed. Yeah. So, yeah, if that's your thing, you just want to jump in and, and, and blow away enemies and level up your character, like, this is the mode to go to. If you're looking for a little bit more um, handcrafted and kind of pacing and story elements and whatnot... You can definitely check out the campaign. Oh, what was that you were showing off, by the way? I was just looking at the uh, the cosmic background there. You know, we since we are technically in space, we're on a, a giant asteroid, a mining facility. And that that looks there, pretty the, cool. The, there, there is a space background. I think that look that looks like from part of another level. I yeah, it kind of looks yeah. like what lockjaw for maybe, Interesting. maybe. And you see all the crystals that they've been mining here. And every so often, if you look off the edge, you can see the crystals uh, glowing in the background. Mm -hmm. So, In this particular scene, you may or may not be able to see them because it's ever-changing. Mm -hmm. And the art is going to be updated over time as well. So it's going to look even better than this once we get closer to release. As I was telling the other members of the dev team recently, you know... Uh, we go through phases whenever we are creating these particular game modes and other assets where we build a rough draft, then we build a playable version, a vertical slice of sorts. Right. And then once we land on something we like, we stick to that base theme and then we polish on top of that. Mm -hmm. And that process uh, can take a while depending on what we want to do, you right. know? Right. Getting that stuff polished getting that stuff ready for mm -hmm. everyone it's definitely right. not an easy task but it's fun and once we hit it that's when that's when we know it's ready for the players it's ready for people to try out mm -hmm. Absolutely. So. oh hey fellow as you can see <laughs> down below we see yeah, some okay. cracks in the asteroid uh and they've built some structures to keep these platforms afloat you can see where it's dark down there. Been, yeah. <laughs> it's dark and spooky. <laughs> Reloading. 
somewhere you don't want to be at night, even though this is not night. It's just, I don't know. If you're on an asteroid and the, uh, the, the nearby star, you can't see it anymore. Is that technically nighttime? Uh, I would I would think so. <laughs> I would think so. It's funny you bring up day and night, though. Well, I actually uh, have something to say about that here in a moment. Uh, I do want to just browse around a little bit and show you guys, well, not necessarily anything super new, but a bit more context to how some of these other systems are being changed. Mm -hmm. uh, going back to the enemy spawning, something that we're allowed to do now is actually change the enemy spawn rate dependent on dungeon progression mm -hmm. or the particular mission you have selected Party at the destroyed. time. So enemy densities could go up or down depending on what the current objective is. Are we currently doing that right now for certain missions or is that that's uh, that's coming? Uh, that's coming in that's the near coming. future. Okay. Uh, right now, the only thing that is changing the rate is... Actually, I'll take that back. It actually is in effect. Uh, there are some other things I'm adding to that that aren't in effect that I'm going to be hush-hush about. Mm -hmm. But the basic enemy spawn rate based off of mission does change. So, for example, right. if I select this mission, which is Collector, mm -hmm. you'll notice a slight increase in enemy spawn rates over time so right now it's kind of quiet because i just started the mission but then eventually you'll notice that the enemy spawn rate is going to change so we have some enemies here and they're starting off kind of slow but eventually they'll they'll ramp up so to speak and that system is still a work in progress uh oh man they he tried to ambush me there yes they did <laughs> oh That's... hey fellas Woo! Oh, yep see yep, yeah. it's already starting <laughs> it's happening <laughs> My advice would be to run away from the box. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yes, yeah, so there you go. Spam grenade. Boom, boom. Let's go ahead and... Oh, so close. Ooh, I think... Well, All right, just die. Get away from me. Ooh, man. Oh, and then this fella here, he says he would like to have a word with me. Everybody would. Oh, man. And... Bam. A word, please. <laughs> boom. <laughs> the word is boom. Target destroyed. Oh, and they're coming from behind. And as we said before, enemies can come from anywhere. It's not necessarily like the old system where you would walk in and they're directly in front of you. They can ambush you from behind as well. So you definitely have to be careful. Yeah, they will definitely sneak up behind you if you're not paying attention, especially when it's kind of dark like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. You got to be very careful. I bet you I'm being followed right now. Oh, hey, fellas. Hello. Greetings. Oh, out of grenade launcher. Whoa. I have been a bit trigger happy with that grenade launcher, but <laughs> yeah, can you, you blame have. me? They they attacked me first, so <laughs> it's their fault. Is that what? Rules of engagement, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually going to start up the looter mission. Uh, by the way, different missions do give different progress towards your progression. So something like the looter mission... Although it wouldn't necessarily be a combat intense mission, you're just going from point A to point B and collecting the materials there. Um, it does give a significant amount of progress towards the dungeon. So right. I'm actually hit up this map, see where it is on. Oh, we're nearby. Yes, we are. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and snag this and boom. Boom. And see, that gave me so much percentage that it basically just sent us to the boss room. Now, of course, the higher the floors you go, it won't necessarily be doing that consistently, but that just goes to show you how many points are available from completing a mission of that caliber. Speaking of caliber, <laughs> hello, my damaged robotic friend. I, too, like to dance with bullets in its room. Would you care to join me? All right. Suppressing fire. I think he likes what I'm doing. <laughs> Eating it up. And then take those I'm... bullets. Pop. All right, come on over here. That's it, fella. Just get some. Uh... Hey, can you hold those barrels for me? <laughs> can you hold those barrels? For me? Reloading. All right, I'm gonna need some hold them barrels. Hold them barrels. Boom. All right. Do that. Bam. Melt him down. 
Uh, Adequate explosions. Use of skills. All them explosions. See how pro gamer I am. <laughs> pro pro <gra> <laughs> Almost is pro like, stress. That's yeah, what this is. almost like yeah. I built this. Yeah. yeah, it's almost like we play this uh, way too much for testing. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it. That's what it seems like. So that's what the night version looks like. And uh, what do you think about it, Josh? What I re mean? I really enjoy the lighting like that. So I'm hoping we can get yeah some more people to try it out, see what they think. But uh, if you like this kind of style of lighting, let us know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this kind of setup, which is a little bit, little bit darker and whatnot. But uh, we'd love to hear anything that we put out there. We always love hearing people's feedback. So we'll take those things, go back to the drawing board, and you know, keep improving. Mm -hmm. you know. So I'm actually going to swap over to the alternate version of this level, uh, which has a, a different lighting version, which is also still a work in progress, but I think it'd be cool for you guys to see. Uh, and while I do that, Josh, you want to hit up the chat, uh, answer some of those questions there. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, looks like, uh, Warden, Warden looks like the baddie from RoboCop 1. I think he's talking about Ed 209. <laughs> <laughs> well, as we were talking about earlier, C Bliss, yes, our mech can actually go upstairs, unlike the other guy. Ooh. <laughs> the other bot. Ooh, this. Uh, well, so, there is that. Uh, also, it says, any plans on introducing vehicles, uh, mech, su mech suits you could discover that you can use temporarily? As cool as that sounds, we are mainly focusing on the rest of the main content right now. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So, definitely put that in the Discord, for sure. But, yeah. That no, no, no vehicles. No vehicles. Right. If we had, you know, a gigantic budget and a very, very long time to make a game, you know, it's, <laughs> I guess it would end up like Star Citizen. You know, we just keep adding features and features, and then it never really gets finished. You know? Solar Star Citizen. <laughs> Star Star so, oh. so, Solar Citizen. There you go. Oh. Solar Citizen. Oh, this actually sounds exciting. Um, mm -hmm. Well, I think we're ready to show off the alternate version, which you can see Woo. like a, a slight-ish preview of it here, but you'll see it in more context once we start playing. Um so, do you actually want to do co-op on this one? You want to do co-op? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's go I ahead and do that. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, yeah, go ahead and hit play. Yeah, let's go yeah, ahead, let's and, go ahead and hit first. play there. There we go. And you're going to have to go to pause. Yeah, and then... Ta-da! Hey. All right. There we go. All right. And then let's go back to the game. Yeah. Cool. I'm a... Whoops. There I'm going to go ahead and equip some skills before we go in. Skills time. Solar Solar Citizen has a nice ring to it. Solar Citizen. We have to... Uh, is that you're saying we have to pitch that now? <laughs> so, so, solar Citizen is a thing? Technically, aren't we all solar citizens? Because we live in We're the solar system. We're citizens of the solar system. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if you move outside of the solar system, it's like, yeah, no, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. Looks like I got a common machine gun and a common DMR. And yeah, if you haven't uh, seen this part before, we've couple we've talked about it a couple times in previous streams, but uh, we do have bonuses on the characters now. So every time you level up, you get uh, a bonus to your offense, support, and special skills. Ooh. So if you look over in this section here. Um, you can see we have this row right here, or this column, excuse me. This is our offensive skills. In the middle, we have support. And then down here, we have our special. So every time you level up, those bonuses will automatically increase. Mm -hmm. But you can find perks on guns that will increase those mm -hmm. as well. So if you're putting all of your... Uh, your points into offense or a little bit support or all special, whatever it is, you can find those perks in the world and be like, okay, I really need to keep this because it bumps us up actually quite a bit. Mm -hmm. So they do more damage or they're more effective, you know. That I mean, is, I got started at level great. zero since I joined late. <laughs> <laughs> all the money. All the money in the world. All the money. All the money. Oh, man. I, just, I didn't do anything and I made money. <laughs> That's awesome. Making moolah. So this is, I guess you would call the day version. The asteroid is facing the towards version. the sun. 
Praise the sun. Praise the sun. Praise the sun. And although the Reloading. level layout doesn't change when you change the day and night, it does kind of change the perspective of what you're playing, because now you're able to see the box, where they're coming from. Uh, so that is just a nice piece of flair we plan on adding to Right. It. Yep. So we also introduced uh, night lighting into the jungle ruins. Mm-hmm. And which it actually works now. <laughs> we thought it'd work, but uh, so the next build that will actually be live, so you can fight the jungle ruins. At nighttime. nighttime jungle, the nighttime, re-release. Nighttime. I think actually it was it was nighttime, and then we were potentially maybe changing it to like sunset. So, but yeah, different different lighting. Golden scenes. hour. Golden hour. That's the best time to take pictures. Except for today, if you're in Dallas, because it's uh, nasty and cold outside, and potential snow. Because it's February. Uh, golden hours in a jungle when all the wildlife is attempting to eviscerate you. <laughs> Smile for the camera. Smile. Tigers are hungry. These aliens are hungry. Yeah, these robots, uh, they apparently eat the souls of players because they have been the robot after purge. us. Oh, yeah. We are, we are purging them bots. Oh, my God. They're purging us. Think fast, Dr. Roll. Hey fellas, how you doing? Terry destroyed. Destroy. Yeah, heck yeah. Them bots be dead. <laughs> you dancing? I don't know if I should start dancing. Time like this. I was actually like... trying to bring up the map and I pressed the wrong I... button, but you know what? Uh -huh. I wasn't going to say that if you weren't going to say anything, okay. but since you said it, you but know. Since you said it, I'm going to point it out. Yeah. yeah okay. Man, that's a. It's a pretty big, pretty, pretty big, big base. Place. Yeah, yes, it is. It is a mining facility after all. And there, are, there are awesome sections um, that show up. So we have sections that are more like this, a little bit more sectioned off, like um, then you have organics, like, and then we have more pieces like this. Yeah, they got security turrets there for the yes, we do for the uh, prisoner. Like get back to work. Second mm -hmm. request: return to work. I don't know. Are we gonna are we gonna see some of those uh, potential turrets or variations of them on Caldera since we have lots of oh, bots and platforms. I don't know, Josh. At first, I, I was I was planning on not putting anything on Caldera, but you know what? Since you asked nicely, since I think I, we can go ahead and do that. <laughs> since I asked nicely. Yeah, we, we grant wishes here in on this stream. Since Mr. Ann Battle asked nicely, yeah. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Asking you shall receive. Can we get turrets? Sure. Asking you shall receive bullets. You get a turret. You, you get, get a turret. I'm gonna hide over here and I'm gonna put on my. Uh... That's fair. Hey, big guy, come over here. I want to talk to you for a minute. I got something to Ow. tell you. Okay. Hey, guess what? Freeze tag, you're it. <laughs> hey, fella. Reloading. Do you like the bullet? Do my bidding. I go too like go. Reloading. You gotta make the sound effects. Well, bam, kabow, kabloom, pow. Hopefully the audio is actually working this time. Last time, it didn't really want to do its thing. <laughs> I see audio levels here, so I think we're good. Let's Reloading. know in the chat. You yeah. hear these explosions. Boom. Well, he can't hear the explosions. Yeah, because he's dead. Reloading. Rest in pepperoni. Rest in pepperoni. The purple. Fun fact yeah. about pizza. Everybody says they want pepperoni, but if you bring sausage or anything else, that will get eaten first. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Because <laughs> they don't know what they want. They don't know <laughs> what they want, and there's something that potentially tastes better. <laughs> but you want to know what tastes better than sausage pizza? The dead robot parts. I mean, well... <laughs> if I was a robot. <laughs> Robots eating... You know, that's, uh... that's cannibalism, isn't it? Is that considered... Whoa. <laughs> robots eating robots. So what did we say about those machines they have at junkyards that scrap other... Yeah, the scrap, yeah, the scrapper. Start this mission. Get some loot. We do have perks for that now, too. Oh. There are uh, perks that will do more damage to certain enemy types. Yeah, so... I believe the... I think our original idea for the <laughs> extra bot damage was called the scrapper. <laughs> <laughs> I think we changed that to deprecator. It 
sound is cooler. But have been deprecated. You've been having just like that robot. Or right, we could do the 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 mass mass deleter. Oh. Control out deleter. Ex machina. Ex machina. Oh. That's not Whoa. Bad. Whoa. <laughs> that was that hurt. Oh my god! Whoa. What happened? Oh, I. Uh, is that the barrel or is that the bot? Or OSHA both? standards do not apply in space. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Next together strong. Oh my god. Goodness gracious. Instead of next to nothing, it's mex to nothing. Mex to nothing. That sounds like an achievement. Yeah. And and, and, and battle. You got to write that down for us. Yeah, write or that C, down. C bliss. Yeah. Mex to nothing. Defeat Me fifty mex. Or defeat 50 mechanical enemies. <laughs> oh god, fight 50 wardens in a row next to nothing. Achievement unlocked. Was that song? I'm pretty sure. Was that a Linkin Park song? Next to last, second to none. Um, <laughs> I'm not. I haven't listened to too much Linkin oh. Park, so. I don't know. I just know. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <gasps> well, wait, 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 Josh is a Linkin Park nerd. Yeah. Don't, 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 don't hate. No, I'm not hate. I like okay. Linkin Park. Okay, that's, well, that's kind of like telling somebody you like Nickelback, you know? <laughs> well, fine, I'll well, like I'll find it. I'll Lincoln like Park anymore. <laughs> also, I've never listened You're to... You're tasting... I'm, who, who, who was that? Was that Scott? And one time I was like, you still listen to that? <laughs> <laughs> this is the face, is, you know, d d disapproval, you know? I've actually never Reloading. listened to a single track of Nickelback, so I hear the memes all the time, but I, I, I don't, don't know if you're missing them. much. I don't know if you're missing much. I really want to shoot that barrel. Ah! Did you see? I think that's what got me killed that's, last time. That's, is you, uh, I'm, like, I'm, I'm going to shoot the barrel, I'm and then I I'm pretty sure died. Ben did that to somebody when we were at PAX one time. Grief. Like, oh, there's a barrel. Let me just go ahead and... Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks, Mr. Carter. Thank you. Thanks for all the explosions in the barrels and me being eviscerated by DMR combat shotgun. Okay. Oh, DMR, you say? Stands for Death Machine Reload. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'll do. They use Max Rocky now. Oh. Oh. Reloading. The only thing better than a shotgun is two shotguns. Only thing better than two shotguns is a, a shotgun. Super shotgun. A shotgun that shoots shotguns. Shotgun that shoots shotguns. I feel like that would crash a computer because that's like an infinite loop, right? A shotgun that shoots another shotgun, and that shotgun shoots more shotguns. Well, we'll just say shotguns. that that shotgun doesn't have the right to shoot another shotgun. Oh my god. <laughs> see, I see a barrel and it's gonna blow it up, man. All right, the new title for this stream is "Watch Renderman Grief <laughs> Psycho 19 <laughs> Several Times on, in a on Accidents." <laughs> <laughs> so he says. So he says. I don't see a red barrel and just want to shoot. Oh! Woo! Boom! Level up. All right. Yay! Well, level up for me, not for you. No. Oh, hey, I got points. <laughs> hey, you hit. Hey, I got points. Hey, you have one point, you nerd. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Thanks, man. If you're going to keep me alive, I think I'm going to invest. What uh, doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Oh, hey. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Oh god, I love these puns. Keep them coming. It is fuel nourishment. Speaking of nourishment, let me feed him some bullets. It's like cereal, except they, uh, I don't think you can crunch these. You can't crunch these. I haven't heard of anyone crunching bullets, but you know, I'm not gonna put it past anyone. Oh yeah, I have a. Do I have a heavy weapon? I do! <laughs> Rocket launcher. We forget the UX we have. It's like I'm playing Destiny all over again. Oh, I never for, I never forget <laughs> my heavy and <laughs> Save your heavy it's for mandatory. It's mandatory. Suppressing fire. Whoa, he's bugging out. He's trying to figure out I think who he's to kill. Yeah, I, well. <laughs> <laughs> you 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 were being the 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 greater th threat there for a minute, so it's like <laughs> I think we were equally threats. You just I, like oh, I don't know who to focus on. Let's see over the edge here. We didn't get to look over the edge in the nighttime Ooh, version, but actually, you know, there. do you actually want to hop into co-op on on night? Absolutely. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna play another co-op session, but this time in the dark. In the darkness. In the dark. So I know. A question someone might have is, well, that's a good question. When you're in the dark, who does the light follow? The main player? Does everyone get a light? You know, 
That would be a good question. And I have a good answer. Answer is neither. Oh. The answer is neither. So what do I mean by that? Well, <laughs> I think I'm going to just let you see. But boom, that change is done. See, I'm, I am the overlord of this world. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and play. We're going to go ahead and go to our menu. Render man is engineer once again. I have no choice. And we go through the ritual of upgrade. Upgrade. Mm -hmm. upgrade. You want to um, share some some upgrade points with me? It's okay if you don't. I just, well, I just We just can't be friends anymore. Well, okay, so here's the thing. I thought about it at first, but then I thought, you know, <laughs> Render Man sure did grief me quite a bit. Yeah. I don't I really don't deserve any <laughs> after the crap that I pulled. <laughs> oh, one thing I do want to show. <laughs> one thing I do want to show because context for later on. Not mm -hmm. in this stream, but later on, is right. uh where is the exotic kiosk? It is over here for now. Uh, and what does it give? <laughs> As for me to know. And for you You're all, find out, to Sonny. Find yeah, out. Yeah. I just wanted to point out where that is. And no, fellas and ladies, you cannot go past the. Dang, case. son. Dang, son. Uh, he big. You can look, That's but a you thick can't. Crick. You can not look, but you can't what? <laughs> you can look, but you can't go. I was gonna say you can look, but you can't touch. And I was like, I've pretty much touched everything in this map. <laughs> like there's a barrel. And as you can see, yeah, yeah. if we try to run away from each other, the Ooh. light doesn't follow out of us, so be careful. Stick together. Stick together. If someone wanders off, they're in the darkness. Or if you all wander off, well. Ah. So what you're saying is I should just go... Whatever direction you're going, I should go in the opposite direction. Stop right. following Josh, me. Josh, no! Go away! No! Go away. Stay away from Help me! Help me! No! I no. am afraid of the robot. You have a gun! I do, but they have bomb! <laughs> They have bombs. They have you know? bombs. Hey, a sniper. Ooh, flame door. Ooh, wrecking. <laughs> <laughs> OP weapons. <laughs> but they feel so good. You get them. Whoa! <laughs> that Boom. bot got melted. Reloading. I like this. Oh. Must have all the money. A rumor in the grapevine told me that Josh has already spent 10 hours in this particular hollow reloading, chamber. Reloading. I don't know if it was 10 hours. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. He's oh, oh, never mind. He found us. Never mind. <laughs> I was going to bring Spear. up that turn, and he's like, you talking smack? You talking smack? I could see you. Oh, I was the distraction. <laughs> We have Scave Boy calling out. <laughs> Look at these gamers. Yeah, we're we're gamers. We are pro gamers. We are we are we're pro. Yeah. League of Purge. League of Purge. The Purge of Lesen. The best Legends. the best the best strats are shoot all the barrels. So I can. Yeah, and uh, grief your teammates apparently. Ah, uh, well that's just fine. It help if I can aim. It would help if I. Could get to use my skills before you destroy everyone. Mm, but you know that's well, fair. That's, 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 that's okay. uh, you know, can't do everything for you. You know what? Ah, punch him. Oh, well, reloading. that works. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, you, you guys over there. Punch. Mm. Subscribe to my Yay. solar fans. <laughs> subscribe, like, and subscribe. No! When we say hit that like button. We mean launch a barrage of missiles. <laughs> like, like subscribe, and... Target destroyed. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that robot has oh, a Oh, right? okay, they didn't like that. No, Whoa. no, no, Target no. Destroyed. Stick together. Stick together. See? See? One okay. more pass. I like this room. This gets a little bit dicey with this. Not oh, they're wild. coming. I saw them in the stairs. Oh, <laughs> we got them. the bus. <laughs> I do enjoy the night Seven, theme. He says, hey guys, it's me. It's you? Is it really? That one guy you met. I remember one of the voices. We discussed Destiny a few times. Did we? But who? But, oh, but no. Who? Yeah, see, sorry. I can't help myself. 
You know what? Let me just get these. I have no self control. I'm sorry. I can't. I, I, I just can't, man. I just can't. This day in Nova Genesis News. Local <laughs> no, just... local Solar Purge developer griefs fellow Solar Purge Press developer. Causes oh. massive delay in content. Developer keeps dying before they can test. Oh, I remember. I know who it is. Okay. Mr. Jonathan, how's it going? Good to see you. What are you doing these days? Good to see you. Sorry, I'm looking at the chat and I'm my... Uh, my butt is getting lit up with force. <laughs> the chat's on the screen. There we go. Eat it. Before we go, I do want to look at these crystals over there. You do want to look at some crystals? Yeah, look at them. Look at them crystals. Ooh. Ooh. Can't wait to finish the lighting for this. It's going to look nice. So, if you get an achievement if you just stand here and stare at them? Well, I would say uh, a giant arachnid with those crystals in its back will come out, jump into the level, and start attacking you, except it is level 999. Um, and you can't beat it. <laughs> okay, so epic boss, epic boss battle fights is what you're saying. Uh huh. So like, not us, but like the boss is fighting each other. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Spider Queen versus. <laughs> and if you shoot at them, they'll Superman. stop attacking each other and they'll attack you. Yeah, just go back and forth. Yeah, nasty. All right. Yeah, it's good to see you, Jonathan. Long time no see. It's it's been a hot minute. It's been a hot minute. Hey, yeah, we're kind of getting back to the streaming thing. So. Spend some credits on it. Oh, you want yeah. me to spend that? Yeah, yeah. But now I only have eight hundred and eighty. Don't worry, I only have two and four eighty. You made me waste my credits. No. No. Yes. <laughs> I might have also clicked it before you did, so uh, it went from two thousand to three thousand. So I wasn't amazing. paying attention, and you went. We put the floor up. I had to grief you somehow. Oh, I, I instead of. In griefing your health, I grief your money, which matters more, apparently. Well. But now we're on floor four, so, so yeah. Remember, everybody, save your money. You never know when you're going to need it to buy a new one. Oh, no. I can That's already tell they're beefy. They're not dying from the flank door in one hit. <laughs> we're all going to die. Oh, look at that space background. I, I can't get enough of that. Hey, can you hold this for me, fella? Thank you. Yeah, we're kind of getting the hang of things, Jonathan. Over the interwebs, it's definitely different, for sure. Figuring that out, everybody's had to figure that out. The past, has it almost been a year now? Oh my God! Yes. Let's not. Let's not. <laughs> let's not remind. I just think that's that's crazy. Yeah. It's been wild. It's been wild. But you know what? Video games are still awesome. Video game Absolutely. development. Has never been <laughs> better. You sneaky guy, you, mm, you almost got sneaky. me. Sneaky. It's also pretty cool they put a turret there to try to stop us from coming up these stairs. Woo! Oh. Do you want to start a, a looter? Yeah, let's get some loot. So, I think you mentioned this earlier. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I didn't notice you there. Now I do. Hello, fellas. That's why I have a shotgun. Always carry a shotgun. Go get him. Attack. Do wow. thy bidding, my minions. Kablamo. Kablamo. Wow. Wow. All right. Oh, so, God. Oh, jeez. So, now that I'm looking at it, I will have to admit, Josh, I may have uh, made a bit of a typo somewhere. <laughs> um, Did you? So remember earlier, I was <laughs> discussing that I, I changed it so that way missions change the enemy spawn rate. Uh, I might have gotten a couple of the missions mixed up where uh, the looter was supposed to spawn less. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, and, I'm wondering so because there's the so others many more enemies. We're supposed to spawn <laughs> more, but I may have uh, flipped that on accident. That. Yeah. So now we get to have a mad dash towards that chest before Run. we get overran by the war. Run. Oh god. Oh I see it. It's right there. It is. No. No. <laughs> yeah, I know, right, Jonathan? Uh streaming has really destroyed. taken off. And not just for games, just uh, literally everything. I know I had a friend that was trying to pick up a mic. 
and some audio equipment is like nobody has anything it's like everybody is getting into the the streaming stuff and podcasting and just oh my gosh it's been wild so it looks like we'll have to go the ah. long mosey to get there. Take the long way home. That's okay. This means more we'll next oh. Did you say mosey? Mosey, yeah. The mosey. Mosey. We're gonna mosey on over there? Yeah. Can I blow up this barrel? You can, since I'm not standing here. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm having a trouble with stairs, so. <laughs> Either my name is Ed209, or I'm related to <laughs> Francis from Left 4 Dead. I hate stairs. Mr. Carter was defeated by stairs. <laughs> stairs has an actual killing him. Whoa! Whoa. Chris on accident. There we go. Are I, you sure you don't want to open the Windows program? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> okay. Thanks, so if we Windows. head this way. Yeah. We can get there. So basically, we were at first going the right way, and then we decided, like, you know, let's, let's not. So Jonathan is asking, how long is it taking you to reach this moment in time? You, you, you got a minute? <laughs> you, you, you got a little minute? We've uh, been working on this for a decent while, actually. Uh, all the guys in our team pretty much work uh, part-time. Some are working more full-time. Um, especially since we went into to early access. Uh, we, yeah, we went to early access to see, what, July 29th? Mm -hmm. Last year. Good old 2020. Look at these chumps. Look at these dudes. Okay. Feature request. I want to be able to shoot my bullet through the fence holes. Accept it. <laughs> Just <laughs> accept it. No, I'm, I'm, I'm really going to do that. I uh, think about that when I make the fence. I'm going to do that. you going to do that? You think I'm not, but I am. And then I'm going to make the fence explode when you shoot too much. That food. means the enemies could also hit us through there. Oh. Well, hey, I, I didn't say that you would get exactly what you wanted. I'll just grant the literal wish that you well, asked for. Tell me what you want. What you um, really, really want. Um, Woo! I would like a billion dollars. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, hello, fellas. Yes, I, you, you, you have seen the Solar Purge shirts in action. Yeah, Long time ago, yeah. Stairs. I know, mine is like... Mine has seen better days because I've worn it too much. <laughs> we uh, definitely missed uh, going to PAX. I guess it's been yeah, it's been two years since we oh, went to PAX. Frick, my lord! I have no ammo. I need money. It, it was probably a bad idea for me to oh, bump God. the floor up that high. Are you sure? I need. Yeah, you're fine. If, if I can keep rolling, I can grab you know what? a skill right I'll, here. Or I could just destroy these guys for you, and that way they drop ammo. You know what? I mean, I'd, I'd really appreciate that. You know. There we go. All right. So. Here, go ahead and hit up on that. I have attempted such. There, there we, we go. go. Yeah, we're having a little bit of bugs here and there with the the camera something we are trying to implement is that so you can actually zoom in with the controller mm -hmm. um, by pressing up on the d-pad but it's being a little funky right now <laughs> oh some money just just a little bit just a little bit see Miss car you complained about money now you're loaded so the camera actually follows uh both players right now We are almost there. We had to go a long way around. Go the long way home. Let's see. Yeah, you can play up to, to four players. And you play through Parsec or Steam's remote play together, um, you can actually play it online. So it's kind of like having somebody right next to you. Mm-hmm. Yep. Suppressing fire. Oh, those are your box. Oops. Oops. Seeing so many robots that just start shooting at anything Oops. that moves. Oh, speaking of things that move, get away from me. Oh, God. How about have a turret? Oh, okay. He said he wanted the turret, and then he died. Oh, that's awful. Yeah, put the turret. 
turret right there. Well, put, yeah, oh, it would have been your explosion right there. Yeah, it would have been great if you put the turret like right here in the door. Well, you know what? I didn't use my brain at the time. I just put it down because there's getting surrounded by. Not, yeah, you. You. Uh, <laughs> that was a panic. Yeah, that, that was a panic. Actually, I pressed the wrong button because I usually have. I usually put my turret on one of the bumpers and then I put uh, the other one, whichever it is. In this case, I'm actually using. Uh, oh God. Boom. Reloading. And they're gone. That was a big explosion. Oh, this boss is gonna be Eight, disgusting. Seven. You think so? Oh no. He's gonna hurt us a little bit. Oh no. no. Oh no. Yeah. So the inventory UI, we call that kind of a flyout menu, a character mm -hmm. menu. Mm -hmm. um, basically, you can look at your stats. And you can look at your weapons, uh, your weapon perks, and your skills um, from just a little portion of the screen. So you can actually, it doesn't take up the entire screen, just a little tiny section of it. So uh, I am player two right now, so all of my UI is kind of yellow down in the bottom right. And Mr. Psychos is blue, but player one down in the bottom left. So when you add uh, more players, it'll take up different corners of the screen. Um, as long as you know where to look for the rest of your uh, in-game UI, that's where the UI is going to pop out. So technically, and I don't really want to do this right now because we're in a box. But <laughs> I could technically, where I could show that, I could open up my menu here. And while the, everybody else is playing, I can go through my uh, stats. I just have to be very careful. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, like that. He said, hey, wait a hey. minute. You're AFK. Let me holler at you for a minute. Okay. Pro stretch. Where should I put the turret? Right there. Right, right here? Right here. Ah. All right. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to kill him. Oh, God. And after we kill him. Oh, he got away. He got away. He no. literally wiggled no. his way. <laughs> here. Have a mine. <laughs> but wait. If what you give mine him, is yours? If you give him a mine, isn't it no longer yours and it's his mine? But then Party his mine would be mine. Wait a minute. My brain hurts. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts too much. Yeah, and then let's say if uh, player one is uh, running along here and I decide, well, I'm done for tonight, so I'm going to jump off. So later, Roderick, I can actually hold down this little thing down here in the bottom right. I'm going to try to do it without dropping out. But <laughs> <laughs> look in the bottom right, there's a little line there. So I hold down the D-pad, and that will uh, eject me from the game. So but what happens if I press it? You, it I mean, I, well, it's fake. <laughs> <gasps> yeah, nothing happens. Dun, 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 dun. Man. Good old dropout mechanic. Well, as far as the new content goes, uh, as far as showing off the new stuff, I think I want to stop here. Yeah. Uh, because there's some other things that I'm working on that uh, aren't ready to show yet. That's behind the curtains. Behind we, the we curtains. We pulled the curtain up a little bit, but we, we, haven't, we <laughs> haven't started the show just yet. Just yet. Just yet. But yeah, what did you think of what you saw, Josh? I really enjoying the the style that we've got going on here. For uh, what are we what are we calling this hollow chamber right now? Well, right now it's uh, simply called Lockjaw. Let's just call it called Lockjaw. It's just called Lockjaw. Lockjaw. It's got pieces from both uh, the campaign, right, part mm -hmm. one and part two, which is not available yet. Yeah. But here in the near future, well, I don't want to say near, but. In the future. I like saying yeah. it's ready when it's ready. It's ready when it's ready. That's right. So Fun fact about this hollow chamber, though. Yeah. This is actually the first hollow chamber that was built when the story content it relates to has already been built. So mm -hmm. actually what I did in order to get this working is I actually went to go take a look at all that work that you, Benjamin, and Holden did mm -hmm. on the, the prison mining. Version, yeah. And I actually took a lot of that. For example, this room is actually an inversion of that final stretch so i really right. wanted to capture that essence of the story mode and mm -hmm. bring it here while also adding some new twists bring some freshness to it so uh yeah hopefully uh, i've did a good job of that and we can polish it more and really get this to something that players absolutely. get to enjoy absolutely yeah so you know what did you guys think over in the chat you know y'all like this stuff because if y'all like it and we like it we're gonna do more it's of gonna, it yeah it's gonna happen more often yeah, yeah. <laughs> What it usually happens is we'll build stuff, and then we'll play it, and we'll think, yeah, this is cool, and then we'll get it out to the public <laughs> as soon as possible so you guys can try it out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
and then that process kind of repeats itself. But mm-hmm. we've kind of, I would say, I guess sped it, we're speeding up our development process. We've talked about that a lot here recently. Yeah. So kind of, yeah, speeding up how fast we can uh, not only build things, but actually getting it out for it's playable. Mm-hmm. So, And what's cool is, you know, because of the systems I'm working on in the background, once those systems are done, they're a lot like cogs in the machine. Once you put all the cogs in place, the whole thing just starts turning, you mm-hmm. know? And right. the new spawning system we got here, when we dropped that in, a lot of stuff started turning. So we get right. to see a lot of that fun in action. And this hollow chamber actually came together, like you were saying, very quickly. Mm-hmm. Right. So uh, pr- I don't want to say all, but... Pretty much all of the campaign levels, almost, will have a hall of chamber that goes alongside of it. Mm-hmm. So the other campaign levels that are coming, and we've got, let's see, we're basically missing just one right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, one one more hall of chamber besides this one. Yep. That is coming uh, in the future. Uh, so yeah, lots of content in the works and coming to you guys. Yeah, when we push out updates, we usually put out uh, 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 some things on the social media universe, mm-hmm. the Twitterverse, the social media, the universe. social media. <laughs> I like yeah, that. The media verses, uh, but yeah, Twitter. Uh, if you check us out on there at Solar Purge, you can check us out on Facebook. Uh, obviously, if you're not in the Discord, Mister Ann Battle has not been nice enough to post the, the invite link, so you can join us on there. Uh, give us your feedback. Jump in the game. Start playing. Mm-hmm. Tell us what you think. Give us some suggestions for achievement names. <laughs> <laughs> Something that Skate Boy is actually saying. They say, I think I really want to see some of the stuff you guys talked about up and running. Like being able to shoot through fences and stuff. I was also curious about how long of protection you have when crouch rolling. I wondered how hectic it would get in a boss fight. Um, and then they mentioned that they called it crouch rolling. It's crouch just rolling. literally just rolling. When you're, when you're dodging it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when you're dodging yeah. yeah. So, yeah, some of the things we talked about during the stream, you know, as we said before we started, a lot of stuff is still work in progress. Although it's ready to kind of show you in a stream mm-hmm. scenario, it's not necessarily ready for the general public to get their hands on. But don't worry, we're actively working on this stuff, and we hope to get it to that point mm-hmm. uh, eventually. Uh, so, like, the fences, being able to shoot through them and other changes that need to be made as far as the crouching well crouch rolling also known as just rolling uh you have a a pretty decent amount of invulnerability when rolling between things uh the exact timing i don't know off the top of my head but it's something that with enough skill and enough patience and learning you'll be able to gauge just how much you have and at what point do you need to start rolling what direction so on and so mm-hmm. forth so that kind of stuff we leave for the players to discover for themselves through trial and error through play testing we don't want to give you too many numbers and we want more of that to come through feeling so mm-hmm. i would say definitely check that out for yourself um and yeah that's what that's all i have to say about that yeah so i guess yeah this is a good time to, to go ahead and wrap it up here i think does yeah. anybody else have any questions or uh, things that you're excited about seeing uh, in the future streams? I know that we wanted to do some uh, community co-op nights mm-hmm. with Parsec and uh, Remote Play together. So if you're interested in that, definitely let us know in a Discord. And uh, if you've already picked up a copy of the game, we would love to hear your feedback on it on Steam because that really helps us out. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, if you can write us a review, yeah, we'd really appreciate it. Um, that really helps with the algorithm. Steam really it looks at <laughs> it looks at reviews and says, "Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll promote these things because they actually have reviews." So, um, yeah, we would appreciate that. And uh, yeah, always be on the lookout for new updates when they come through Steam. We usually try to post the patch notes uh, when new builds are available. You mm-hmm. can check them out there, and we'll have them on our website as well. So, yeah, and, yeah, and as as uh as you know, may know, or may not know, you know, if once you join the early access, all of these updates you're seeing when we're streaming, you get those for no additional cost. So once this is live, well, once we're ready to ship it and we put it out, guess what? If you own the game, you, you got get more content. content. That's yep. right. So, and we've added quite a bit of content here. Oh yeah. Recently with even minor, minor updates too, and game plan changes and things. Mm-hmm. And we still have, and we were just talking about levels. You, we haven't even seen all the enemy sets yet. 
we haven't seen in some of these uh, lock skills down here. So I think we only have let's see. Yeah, we've got like five skills right now out of uh, out of nine total for each mm -hmm. character. So yeah, lots of stuff coming. So and we are hard at work on this stuff. I know we took a break for a while. Things were really crazy at the end of last year, um, in the fall and uh, over the winter break. But we've been working really hard, and uh, yeah, we're back. To, we're excited about streaming again. So this has been fun. So Wednesday nights at seven. Bring your friends or two. Say hello to us online, and uh, yeah, we're gonna keep keep building and keep playing. Yep. Indeed. And thanks for coming out, guys. Thank you to everyone in the chat. Thank you for everyone that watched. And we will catch you next time. See you later, everybody. Have a good evening. Bye.